Oh man, welcome back to the Watching with Queen channel, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the Aqua Force, man, or subscribe to the main channel too. But I'm pretty sure everybody who's coming, everyone who's here, because you know there's not too many of us here yet. You already get the hell I'm saying. I don't need to go there. Anyways, hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe, man. You know what I'm saying because we post some videos every goddamn day, multiple times a day, man. Today we got Floyd Mayweather goes toe to toe with Brian Kenny on Sports Center. So. Um, I've seen certain clips of this video, but what I do know as an overall, uh, you know what I'm saying, summary is that <laughs> Floyd just completely just like going at this white guy the entire time. Um, yeah, I don't think he likes this nigga for whatever reason. Uh, they probably have some type of beef, uh, you know what I'm saying, behind closed doors or whatever. Um, that we don't know about, but, uh, or Floyd just does not like, you know what I'm saying, condescending white people, because who does, you know what I'm saying, but, um, yeah, man, uh, that's what we got here, Floyd Mayweather, um, let's go ahead and watch. We welcome into Sports Center the former number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd, welcome back, we've missed you, Floyd. Hey, how you doing, I'm not no former number one pound-for-pound That pound fake ass, we missed you, Floyd. The best fighter in in the sport of boxing, no one has dethroned me. So how am I not pound pound the best fighter in the world? You tell me. Because you retired? Oh, what the, but have I ever been beat? But what happens is you informed Ring Magazine well, you retired. I already, as I, already, I, already forgot, I already forgot who I'm talking to. I'm talking to Brian Kitty. A guy who's never laced up gloves a day in his life. We don't know nothing about boxing. Well, it's, <laughs> it's good to have you back in, in top form already. You retired. What See how you try to brush that past? Forever. You walked away. You actually retired. Man, we know you don't know nothing about boxing. <laughs> Why not? Why not? The sport, the sport, the sport needs the cash cow back. You know, um, we already know what I, we know. We already know what I can generate. We already know what I can do in the sport, and we already know who's the face of boxing. You waited over a year to come back, and, I, and, and I've been yeah. gone from the sport. And what these fighters done it, since I've been gone together in pay per view. Out of all the fighters, haven't topped what I've done in two fights. The pay per view has been pretty good for Manny Pacquiao fights lately. Floyd. They, they, you still have to top what I've done in two fights. Facts. Well, one was with Oscar De La Hoya, who was the cash king. Hey, 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 yeah, I'm the cash cow, please. No, compared to Oscar De La Hoya. 200, 200, 200 have you, have you drawn minutes. as much as Oscar De La Hoya? First of all, he whooped Oscar De La Hoya's ass. So, I mean, this nigga just don't want to give Floyd his props. Like, he just clearly has some type of hood in general. Floyd whooped that nigga ass. You know what I'm saying? Beat the hell out that old ass nigga, bro. So I don't know what, <laughs> it's clear that this white guy has a problem with Floyd, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's why Floyd is kind of coming at him like this, you know what I'm saying? Because I've actually met Floyd, and he's actually a really nice dude, you know what I'm saying? People think he's really arrogant, which he can be, which he is very cocky, which he is very full of himself. But, hey, at the same time, he's also a really cool dude. I've met him in person. He's a dope. I know his, uh, <clears throat> I know his son, Karan. He's a friend of mine. He's dope, you know what I'm saying? So there's a, he's, he's a cool dude. I think he just does not like this nigga, man. I've only been on pay per view a thousand times. It took me two times, two times, three point five million homes. Me, Floyd Mayweather. No, with Oscar De La Hoya though. Oscar De La Hoya didn't do nothing. Did he win? Facts. <laughs> he got his ass beat. Loss, as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, come on, man. But it was with him. Uh, well, well, once again, like I said before, once again we're talking to Brian Kenny, <laughs> uh, uh, a man of many traits, a master of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Why does nigga never respond when he insulted? Do you think about facing Pacquiao first? Your first fight back? My, my first fight back, they, uh, Marquez is the guy that called me out. And after the, uh, I think after the Pacquiao fight, they asked Pacquiao, did, did um, Larry Merchant asked Pacquiao, did he want to fight? He talked about talking to his promoter. They didn't ask his promoter. They asked him, did he want to fight? Well, lots of people call you out, including Oscar De La Hoya for a reason. Well, lots of people called you out. And I love doing business with, with Golden Boy Promotions. I'm saying, if you, you, Floyd, you always come back and you face the best. I give you credit for that. When you moved up to lightweight, you faced uh, Jose Luis Castillo right away. But why not face the guy that won the Pacquiao Marquez fight? Well, like I said before, Oscar De La Hoya is doing one hell of a job. We got Mayweather Promotions. What does the that past, have to do with what I just asked? It's, it's the past, the present, and the future of, of, of sports and sports and entertainment. And I think that Leonard L.B. and Al Heyman is doing a hell of a job as my advisors. Why not face the winner of the Pacquiao Marquez fight? I just answered your question. 
No, you didn't. I must have missed it. What are you talking right. about? I said Al Heyman and Leonard Ellaby are my advisors, and they've done one hell of a job with Floyd Mayweather's career. So they didn't want you to face Pacquiao right away? I'm not. I'm not dug in a dog and nobody. You know. You know what it is. No. What is it? Is Bob Arum? I, I I got a list. But whenever it, it happens, it happens. Is it? Is it because of Pacquiao's promoter is Bob Arum? Is that right, the reason? Well, you, well, you got to talk to Bob Arum, not me. I ain't gonna speak on. I don't got nothing to say about Bob Arum. But if you're the cash king, you can make the call. If you come back and say I want Manny Pacquiao, that fight had happened. Floyd. It, once again, Bob Arum is Manny Pacquiao's boss. Floyd Mayweather is his own boss. Facts. And you heard. You heard. They say they, they talking about. Uh, they moving on. They want to fight somebody else. You know me. It don't matter who I fight. Well, you had made the call before he fought Ricky Hatton, so if, he couldn't if, make a fight with you before he fought Mar Hatton. If Marquez is a fighter that's facing in front of me, that's who I'm focused on right now. When, when, when Pacquiao's in front of me and it's time to fight Pacquiao, then I take care of that also. Floyd, Pacquiao just faced the last two guys you also faced. Who do you think was more impressive? You or Pacquiao? Uh, me, of course. Really? What's Absolutely. more impressive, a split decision and a 10th round knockout or an 8th round KO and a 2nd round KO? Well, what's more impressive is uh, Oscar De La Hoya, when I fought him, he fought his, at his walking around weight, in, which is 154. And he was a, when, he, when he made 147, he was a dead man and he was fighting his 8-ounce gloves. And uh, when I fought Oscar De La Hoya, they gave me some 10-ounce gloves, some heavyweight 10-ounce gloves. And uh, <clears throat> when I fought Hatton, I knocked Hatton out with 10-ounce gloves on. Stepping back when he was undefeated. It's a fair point. And, and, my, and, and my dad gave uh, Hatton a, a, a game plan. Hatton fought, fought a southpaw. He's not used to facing a southpaw. He gave him a game plan, and he didn't execute the game plan. It's a fair point, and yet he barely lost a round to both guys, and you had a late knockout and a split decision win. It's hard to argue you were actually more impressive what, than what, what Hatton what, figured. Well, the thing is this. We know Oscar De La Hoy, uh killed himself. To make 147, and we know that's that's not Oscar De La Hoya walking around weight. Uh, when I try to get the fight with Oscar De La Hoya at 147, he said absolutely not. Um, I couldn't even choose my my own gloves when I fought Oscar De La Hoya. They chose the gloves for me. And <clears throat> with the Ricky Hatton fight, I beat an undefeated Ricky Hatton. And when, when once I beat Ricky Hatton, he was never the same. Once I beat a guy <laughs> mentally and physically, he's never the same. Um, you well, he won two fights after fighters. that fight. He won two fights after that, including against Paul Malinazzi. Yeah. He looked decent in that fight. Decent, decent. He's. I mean, I, I mean, Paul Paul Mar Paul Marginali is, is is a good fighter, but Ricky had supposed to have killed this guy, from from what I've heard. Floyd Juan Manuel Marquez is an excellent fighter, but he's the lightweight champion of the world. Why pick a guy two weight classes lighter oh, than you? Oh, here we go again. So here we go again with this. Now you're the one weight champion. I'm, 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 I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm waiting for you to say that. So, Floyd Mayweather is in his thirties. This is white guy's a troll. That's why he's smiling. When we, fight, when we meet up in fight, when Oscar De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather meet up in fight, and, and, and I beat him, but we both in our thirties, they say he's over the hill. But then when Pacquiao fights, they say, "Oh, this is the greatest thing we ever seen." So then when I fight Hatton, they say I'm too big for Hatton. But then they say, no, you got, no, 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 you no. got full credit for both of those wins, Floyd. No, no, That's no, why you became no, a superstar. No, I did not. Yes, no, you I did. did not. No, I sure did you not. did. For are me, you gonna, are I you gave you full credit. Piece? If you're talking am, to me am, now, am I, gonna I speak gave my you piece? full credit for that. Am I going to speak my piece or not? Go am ahead. I going to speak my piece or not? Go ahead. Okay, because you want to interview me. I ain't interviewing you. You want to talk to me. I don't want to. I don't worry about talking to you. want to talk to me. go ahead. I'm waiting on you. So, so then, when I fight Hatton, they say, oh, Mayweather is too big for Hatton. But then... Marquez and Pacquiao can fight, it's no problem. But now, but but I'm too big for Marquez. I'm too big for Marquez, but I'm not too big for Pacquiao. Which one is it? Well, you, which, no, which one is it? Which one is it? Which it's, one is it? It's that Pacquiao was 130 pounds and he keeps moving out and whacking guys who are much bigger. He whacking guys. That, but you are going after a guy who is two weight classes lighter. So than so, you. so 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 De La Hoya wasn't big, bigger than Pacquiao when he fought him. No, you you got full credit for beating De La Hoya. Answer the question. You deserve that. You moved Answer out. Answer the question. Did, 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 they, did they not say De La Hoya was too big for Pacquiao? Yes. Did, okay, yes. Then. And they're wrong because did, Pacquiao was that great. Didn't I come from? Didn't I come from 125 pounds all the way to 154 pounds? Yes, you Answer did. the question. Yes, you did. Okay, then. All right. So, so I was a, so, I was a small. So all right. So answer the question so right now. I did. I just answered the question. I got, I got to ask you another question. Go ahead. Has Pacquiao been knocked out twice? 
Answer the question. Yeah, when he was like 100 and I, I don't know. Just answer the question. Because he turned pro when he was a teenager. Did Pacquiao been knocked? Has he been knocked out twice? Yeah, a de like a decade answer ago. Answer the question. A decade ago. And just answer, I, ain't, I, don't, I don't care if it was 100 years ago. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Has Pacquiao been outboxed by Eric Morales? What one fight he lost to? Answer yeah. the question. Yes, he did. Has he been outboxed by Eric Morales? He dogging his white boy. So why would you not fight him right now, away? Now, now I want to ask you another question. Now I want to ask you another question. Go ahead. Who's beat me? Nobody's beaten you yet. That's all boy. I want to know. So why pick a guy two weight classes? That's, that's all I want to know. Ain't nothing else right? to talk about. Nothing else to talk about. <clears throat> nothing else to talk about. Nothing else to talk about. The white boy is completely mad, man. I don't care what nobody says. You can ha hate or love Mayweather, bro. He literally just shut this white boy up right now. He just shut his ass all the way up. <laughs> that is funny as hell, bro. That's <laughs> oh, Mayweather funny as hell, bro. This nigga is the guts, man. Yeah, what's wrong? You're the welterweight champ. You're the welterweight champ. That's two weight classes wider. Why oh, not go after go a guy like look. Shane Mosley? Keep Shane Mosley me is the champ in your weight out. class. Keep Lots of guys call you listen, out, listen. boy. Keep calling me out. <laughs> Why not go after Shane Mosley? Who's the Bro, he beat Shane Mosley ass not too long after this interview. He beat that nigga ass too. And Shane Mosley ain't never been the same ever since, man. Anyways, man, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cap it off right there. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to bore you guys because, you know what I'm saying? They're talking about a lot of basketball things. but I mean, not basketball things. Actually, you know, let me, let me skip. I think things get really heated towards the end. Let me skip. <laughs> Hold up. I'm glad to see you back. I truly am. It's good talking with you, and we'll talk Absolutely. to you again before the fight. July 18th, Juan Manuel Marquez, the lightweight <laughs> champion of the world. Like, like I said before, I've been dominating the sport for I don't know how many years. And I had to ask you another question. What was Pacquiao in 97, 98, 99, 2000? 105 pounds. What, but what, what was his name at? Was he, was he rec this, I'm in a whole new era dominating That's right. fighters. And he's a whole new fighter, Floyd. A whole new fighter. Oh, yeah. And, and, and so, and, 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 when, and when I beat him, what they going to say? Oh, well, we knew this was going to happen. Floyd yeah. Mayweather was a bigger fighter, or he could outbox him, or this. It's always excuses. Full credit to you if you beat him, Floyd. And for Marquez, too, who's a true lightweight champion. And Marquez beat him twice, for real. And no, you know I, that. I, I thought he out, I thought he outfought him the second time he around. Beat him, he beat him both times, and you know that. I, I don't know that. Uh, the second time, I think he beat him. Floyd, good talking to you. We'll see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end it off right there, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe, man, because we are going up, up those videos every goddamn day, multiple times a day. Let's get it.